everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch and I have a new craft for you and we are going Christmas. And I was contacted by Moonlight Feather and it's moonlightfeather.com is their website. And they asked me if I would like to try some of their feathers in my crafts and I of course said yes. And I went to their website and I had no idea there were so many beautiful, beautiful feathers out there. And they offer them at reasonable prices so you might want to go check them out. And they sent me peacock feathers. They sent me some beautiful, beautiful pheasant feathers and some guinea hen feathers. So you'll see those in crafts in the future. But I also asked for a feather boa because we're going to do a Christmas tree. And we're going to make a blue Christmas tree. And this is a feather boa from them also. And I have pre-made a cone. And if you don't know how to make a cone, I have a video on how to do it and this was just out of card um, poster board poster board from the dollar store and I didn't even do a very pretty job on this in my video you'll see that I do it with glue and I try to be a little bit neater about it but you aren't going to see any of this so I just taped it with masking tape on the outside and just a little bit on the inside and so now it's nice and sturdy you can add glue if you think you need to but I don't think I need to and we're going to use this feather boa and I'm going to link the video at the end on how to make the cones um, at the very end you'll see it there and this one normally I try to meet up on the top but this one I didn't and there's a reason I didn't do that so I have my hot glue and I'm going to put a little dab on the inside and these boas come with these ends and I'm just going to put that right in there I probably should have fed it through before the glue, but I'll put it right in there. If you're having a hard time getting it in, then just use like a skewer stick or something and push it in a little bit. And then I'll put another dab right there and kind of attach it. And then all we're going to do is we'll let that cool for a second and we're just going to start twisting it around our comb. And every once in a while, we're going to want to put a dab of glue. And there's our tree. And I had a little extra of the cone. So all I'm going to do now is, I didn't know how tall I should make it, so I kind of guessed. And all I'm going to do now is just trim that bottom part off. And then it has that little end which you want to trim off as well. That's why I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of glue right at the end piece just so nothing, nothing unravels or anything either. Knowing this was going to be a blue tree, when I was at the dollar store, I got a couple of these little bunches of berries. And I'm going to just take my wire cutters. And I'm going to cut a bunch off. And then I'm going to cut even more because this is a pretty big bunch to be putting on here all at once. I want little bunches. So if you cut them even more, you can do little bunches of berries all around. I'm going to put one right at the top too. And I'm going to put a dab of glue in there. And then, whoops, hold these berries in place. And then I'm going to do that all around the tree with these little berries. And I like the white and the blue color combination because it's kind of frosty. So here it is all finished and I didn't even use one of these full berries. So you'll probably see these in future crafts. And this one happens to be a little bit more of a contemporary looking tree. And it's kind of a more fun, whimsical tree, but you can do it with any color you want. They have a whole variety of colored boas. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try, and we'll see you next time. Let me know if you like it, and in the comments below, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.